We wanted to stay a little bit closer to to the activities and attractions. Nick is on the hunt to find something better. It's having a nearly broken ankle. <laughs> Cobblestones. Tams is taking us to see her first attraction. What's it called, Tams? It's called the thing. That thing. Good. <laughs> Found it. I think it's that. We're just finished with our first attraction. It looks closed. It looks kind of cool from outside, but it looks very uh, nice. we can't enter, so it's another pretty building. Yep, but it's worth, I mean, it's just down the road, so it's worth walking in. Yeah. Continue on to Via Palace Burner. We are currently on our way to Trevi Fountain. Maybe we will throw some coins and get some good luck. Even these guards are social distancing. <laughs> that looks 1.5 meters. <laughs> and they're wearing their masks. We are in the cars. We have just made it to Trevi Fountain. Yeah, believe in, yeah, believe in. We are something new. Than we've Look how many people there are. And this is not peak season. We just made it out to Trevi Fountain. Yeah, like literally made it out. That place is swarming. Apparently it's not even that full because it's not peak season right now. So I can't imagine what it looks like in July. So if you are coming through in July or any time of the year, I think just be prepared to wait quite a while for photos. It was interesting because we were reading that there's about 3,000 euros that gets thrown into that Trevi fountain every day um, that people yeah, wish for good luck. So yeah, we could be millionaires, just own a fountain and clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> the city was also built around the fountain and the guy that built it actually... Nikola Slavi didn't actually get to see, see it, it come to fruition. Yeah, I think he died before then, eh? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a Walt Disney story where you never got to see the Florida one get built. But it is stunning. I can really understand why there's so many people here, why there's swarms. It is breathtaking. We're, on our, we're still on our way to our accommodation, but we're just going to stop along when we see something awesome. <laughs> We're now headed to the Pantheon. Apparently, it's a must see. How cool is this? We're at the Pantheon, and all these structures are massive. They look amazing. There's another beautiful building. Look at this guy's car. It's as big as Tams. <laughs> After all the distractions from the beauty that Rome is, from what the little bit we saw, we have finally made it to our room. So if you want to come join us, come in. It's a copy. It's firm. This is our first big screen TV. Normally they say have a TV, but it's like this big. But this one's this big. Which we which never use. True. And we've got a desk, so I can get some work done. And to our bathroom we go. It's very big in here. We've got a nice big shower and hair dryer. We have just messed up the room, dropped off our stuff, 
and we're now on our way out to get some food and to also explore some of the stuff around our area. We've actually visited a lot of castles and this one's got a little bit of an interesting backstory. It was originally built as a tomb for Emperor Hadrian and then it was converted into a military base and then it was used as used for the Pope as an escape route from the Vatican City. So inside it's got a whole bunch of different floors that you can check out, converted into a museum. So today it's for tourists to roam, but what a crazy backstory. Just fit. <laughs> it was made for me. We are breaking the past. We believe in never. We have just made it home and Nick needs to edit some vlogs, so we're gonna call it a night. There's so much security everywhere we go. There's like army or police. It's really beautiful though. Look at all the colour. Reminds me of you, Tams. <laughs> I used to be talking to me now. <laughs> <laughs> 